let's look at C. Fill in the blank cells of this table with the Q values that result from applying the Q update for the transition specified on each row. You may leave Q values that are unaffected by the current update blank. Use discount gamma equals 1.0 and learning rate alpha equals 0 0.5. Assume all Q values are initialized to 0. Okay, so just as a reminder, in Q, what do we do? We update of the form Q S A becomes 1 minus alpha, what we have for Q S A plus alpha times what we just experienced, which is the reward we just got R plus gamma times the value at the next which is max over A prime, uh, over A prime Q A prime. Okay, so we start with everything zero and we have a transition from D. Taking action A for right, in the reward of minus one, landing space E. But the actual update is Q value for action pair D right, which is A right. We'll update it using the equation up here. The first term in that equation here, our moment startup. And second term here will be equal to one half times and the reward we got was minus one plus gamma, which is one times this max over Q. But we know that the Q values are initialized to be zero, so that maximum will be zero. And so we end up with an update pair of minus one half. So it is minus one half in here. Next transition we get to observe is from state E taking action A equals right. So that's the next one over here. And we get to see a reward of plus two and we'll land in state. Okay, so we'll use the same update equation. Initially, Q E right is zero, so still the first part will be zero. For the second part now, Uh, and the, this, the learning rate alpha is still one half. The reward in this case is plus two. The discount factor is still one, and the max overall Q value. Then we have to look at what state do we land? Land in state F, and so we need to look at all the Q values for this F. Well, the only one that's non-zero right now is this one here. So for us, they're all zero, so this is zero. And we end up with a one. Then we go from state E, taking action left, entry over here, landing state D. Okay. I've not seen the state E left before, so this term is again zero. The learning rate is still one half. The reward we get to see is zero. The gamma is one. And now the max overall actions of Q S prime A prime is well, we need to look we land in E, the only action pair with D that's known here is this one over. Of minus one half. The other actions in state D will still have a value of zero. That zero is better than the minus one half, so the max will be zero. So we get zero. Now for the last one, we start with D, take action right, so that's one here again. So we should Reward of minus one learning state E. So now we put an update for state action pair where we have already done an update before. 
So in this case, this first term here is going to be 1 minus alpha, which is 1 minus 1 half, which is 1 half. And QSA now is QD right, which is minus 1 half. And then here we get plus alpha, which is 1 half times the reward, which is minus 1 plus gamma, which is 1 times the max of all actions of QS prime, prime is E. So let's look at the values of E over here, over here. We have a 1 and a 0, so the max is a 1. So we get a 1 over here. So this part adds up to 0. This part over here is 1 half times minus 1 half, so this part is minus 1 fourth. Ends up with. Okay, now for the last part of this question, this is still an in the water part, but now we're going to use function approximation to represent the Q values. Recall that a policy pi is greedy with respect to a set of Q values as long as this holds true here. So, when there are ties for the maximum Q value, it could be more than one greedy policy. For the next sub problem, the following feature function. The feature function that is one is the action is moving to the right, and then there's a feature function at time that's one if the action is to move to the right, and um, we're currently on a slide. Okay. Now we're asked to look policies over here, and which are greedy policies with respect to the Q value approximation function obtained by running the single Q update for the transition given here, while using the specified feature function. Make sure that all feature weights are zero before the update using um, gamma equals 1.0 and learning rate alpha equals 1. Okay, so let's first do the Q learning update with function approximation. Q-learning update, we look at the follows. Okay, so the first step here is to apply the one Q update, and then we can start looking at what the greedy policies would look like after doing that Q update. So we're assuming we have only one feature, and one feature f, in the other case it's feature f prime. The weight update is as follows. The weight is whatever the weight was before, plus alpha times the difference times the feature that we were at. So that becomes W becomes W plus alpha times the difference times the feature at F comma right. Okay. What is the difference? The difference is equal to R plus gamma times max over prime Q S prime in prime minus Q S. Well, we start with everything equal to zero, all the weights equal to zero. So zero, zero. So the only thing we're left with is the reward, which is plus so our weight also started at zero, so what we end up with is a weight that's equal to alpha is one, so we have zero plus one times the difference, which is plus two, 
times the feature for f comma r. The feature for f comma r is if it's f, the action is right, so then it's one. If it's f two for f, and for f prime, if we are instead f took action r, and f is a glide state, so we also have one here. And so we end up with a weight and both that is equal to plus two. Okay, so what we're left with here is a weight plus two, which means that our Q function is equal to plus two whenever the feature is true, whichever feature we're using. And zero and otherwise. So this is a great policy with respect to the Q function being the policy in the F case, the policy that always takes the action right um, whenever right is available, and being great with respect to F prime when we use the feature function F prime means that whenever and there's an action right available, we have to take it, otherwise everything is equal. So let's look at this one first. The agreed policy with respect to the Q function with feature F, we always need to select the right action whenever the right action is available. Let's look at pi one. Um, Here, we sometimes move left, sometimes right. Even when the right action is available, we sometimes move left, so not pi 1. For pi 2, whenever the right action is available, we move right. So that's good. For pi 3, um, sometimes we move left when the right action is available, so no good. And now for feature function f prime, so now our q equals 2 times f prime at a. Respect to this, whenever the slide is there, we should pick the right action. So, where is the slide again? The slide is sitting in F and G, which is here and here, here and here, here and here. Looking at policy pi 1, when the slide is available, we indeed move right. Yes, yeah. pi 1 is free with respect to this Q function. For pi 2, also we move right when the slide is available. For pi 3, also we move. 